Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and let's add in some of these cubes here. And all I'm going to do is, you know, for when you're when you're testing a game, uh, for instance, um, what you want to do uh, is you want to make sure that everything works first and then move on. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to actually kind of move these around here and just kind of maybe make some of these here kind of hide some behind here and there's maybe a few more here it doesn't really matter where you put these um, you know you do have to collect all of them all right so it's pretty basic I'm just gonna add in a few more of these here and all we're gonna do is we're basically gonna collect them and you always want to make sure that you know you can make it kind of a time trial you know and let's just see if the the counting works and sure enough it does work but what we don't want to have is we don't want to have um all of the uh, uh cubes just be this debug mode because i believe uh or i think that what happens when you actually um uh when you, when you actually release a game some of the stuff might not appear depending on on what your settings are so uh, you want to make sure that you're using uh, a uh, heads-up display. So there's a couple ways uh, that we can do that here. Uh, but first of all, let's go ahead and let's calculate the total amount of cubes. Okay. And in order to do that, let's go into our top-down game mode here. And let's go ahead and let's add in a variable. We'll call this total cubes. Okay. And we'll go ahead and add this in as an integer. And we're going to go and compile it here. So now that we have that here, we need to go count. So let's do event begin play. And let's add in a function. We'll call this not an override function here, but count cubes. Okay, and then what we're going to do is hop back to the event graph and we'll call count cubes. Okay, and so that way what we'll do is we'll just get the cubes. And so what you need to do is you need to get all actors of class. Okay, which class is that going to be? Um, if you type in cube, we'll say collectible cube. All right. So now that we have that here, uh, we can go ahead and basically count them. And this is pretty easy to do. Um, you can get the length. And by the way, one of the cool things I love, if you just type in count, it gives you the length anyway. Okay. And so as you can see, this count is an integer. So all you have to do is set the total cubes to that here. And let's just go ahead and let's print uh, let's print this here. And that way we can kind of go and do that here. Now, one of the things is that you notice that it says return value integer. Well, this happened to just be an integer. Um, if it was a float, uh, you'd have to convert it. But for the most part, I think that's fine here. And there are 22 cubes. As, as you can see here. And let's just kind of go ahead and uh, let's just actually delete. As you know, that actually is pretty good here. Let's just delete. Do we need really need to delete one? Actually, no, we'll just add one. Okay. So what it should see is 23. And so and sure enough, there are 23 cubes. And so now you basically have to collect all the cubes here. Okay. And that is working here. Perfect. All right. And so there you go. That is looking pretty good. Uh, before we end this here, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's delete this um, um, uh, total cubes collected here. And uh, we'll just simply uh, delete that here. And now, in the, or in the next tutorial, we'll set up the heads of display. See you then.